Alright, hello there guys, and uh, welcome to another video um, tutorial. Uh, today I decided that I was going to do a video um, to new Pi game. Uh, so, this is going to show you how to make a custom button, like uh, the positioning of it, and um, get how to get it to detect where the mouse is, and when the mouse is over it, when the mouse is clicking on it, so on, so on, getting it to um, react from that. Um, there's going to be parts of this video that I'm just going to put in the description below, um, obviously, because I can't really be bothered writing them out. I'm just going to copy and paste them from another file, um, but the rest I'm going to write out and explain as I go. So, to begin with, we're going to go and we're going to import Pygame. So, like that, obviously. Then we're going to import from Pygame uh, locals. So this is importing all the local files from Pygame, um, and we're going to import all of them. So that. Then we're going to go. Yes, got that right, haven't I? Yeah. And then we're going to import time. So this is importing time, so that we can do a refreshing of the screen, so on. So that's all the imports we need to do. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to initiate Pygame. So that's Pygame. Oh shit. Pygame dot init. And that requires parentheses. And we're also going to define colors. So Pygame doesn't come with built in colors like Decanter and other GUI programming. And so we have to write them ourselves. So I just send them to a variable so we don't have to use them lots. So for white you want to go 255, 255, 255 and that does um, the white color so on so on. Um, obviously RoyGBiv RGB the first one being red, second one being blue, second, third one being green RG, no sorry, middle one being green and so how much of the mix of colors you want to do. Um, so we're going to do red, white, green so that's uh, 0, 170, 0. This is the color that I use for green. Then we're going to have a light green, so that's when, for when the um, button is going to be moused over. Um, so we're just going to set that up. Obviously you can use your own colors for this. You don't have to use these colors to set into a different variable and use them at a different time in the um, thing. So that's going to be full brightness of green. We're also going to have black. This is for the text that we're going to display after um, after the um, after the button's clicked, just so we can show an example. So we're going to write um, colors, just so that easy to refer to. Obviously, I like to name everything. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to set the size of the game display. So we're going to go display underscore uh, width equals blah 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 we're not going to write that in yet display underscore height equals and I think we'll both go 500 by 500 now this is where it gets a little bit complicated in the um, in the thing we're going to make a variable called game display um, camel casing it of course and we're going to go pi game dot display Ooh display underscore oh, sorry dot set underscore moodle no sorry mode and then we're going to go double parentheses I don't actually think that's required double parentheses uh, we'll find out um, display underscore width display underscore height now uh, next one we're going to do is clock to find the clock. This is going to uh, work. Um, actually, no, nah, yeah, no, nah, yeah, yeah, we'll do it now. Why not? Pi game dot time dot clock with a capital C. Oops, I didn't remove the other one. In parentheses, like usual. Now this code here, I'm going to copy and paste over from another code. Um, so this one here is going to be copied over from the other code, just because it's not really necessary to what we're doing. We're just I'm just copying it over because I decided it might be useful, so we can get rid of those ones. 
Uh, actually, no, we'll just leave them. There's no point in removing them. So, now we're going to go down and we're going to define the intro loop. Ooh. So, this is what we're going to be calling um, originally. Uh, so, if we go down and we go intro loop with parentheses, then we're calling the function. So, now um, we're going to go down a line and we're going to start typing. So we're going to go intro equals true with a capital T. And we're going to go down two more lines while intro. So this is meaning, so while intro is set to true, run this. So this will be a for event in pi game dot event. Um, for event in pygame dot event dot get with parentheses and a semicolon. If event dot type is equal to pygame dot quit. So I need parentheses and that's meant to be capitals. Quit. Then pygame dot quit quit uh, with parentheses. Now we're going to go back, back, and we're going to go game display. Uh, sorry, that's wrong. Game display dot fill. And in there we're going to use our colour that we have used up the top. So this one up here in the colours, we've defined the colours. And we're going to use that in game display fill. That is going to set the canvas to white. Now for this event in pygame.event, um, that is like detecting where the mouse is going, what's happening with the mouse and stuff, um, so on and so on. Uh, so if we run this now, it should Okay, no module named Pygame. Huh. I think I might need to open it in idle. Uh, let me have a look at this. Okay, maybe just once. Alright, so something I've worked out from Pycharm is that sadly my Py game doesn't work within Pycharm. Um, I don't think it's any fault of mine. I think I just haven't imported, or well, it's fault of mine as I haven't imported it. But this means we're going to be changing over to um, idle for this, as I can run the folder, a file from this. Something I've also realised from testing is that you need double parentheses here. Um, yeah, so that's how it works. Right, so now this run, if we run this, uh, we're going to end the video here anyway, uh, as I don't want it to go too long. We're going to run it in two, two parts. Um, so you can see it spawns up the window, nothing happens as of yet, but in the next video we'll be touching on creating a button to do something. Uh, so thanks for watching guys. Um, I guess I'll see you next video. Um, stay tuned for it. Thanks for watching. See you.